Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you a quick overview of Action Tiles. It's an integration with SmartThings. So if you have a SmartThings hub and you have other things that are integrated with it like Philips Hue lights or you've got, I don't know, garage door controller like the one by Linear or if you have like Sonos or I think Rachio, the sprinkler controller, among many other things, then this is the type of integration that you'll probably want to check out. So the reason why is is because you can basically set up like a tablet touch screen in your home, which is really cool. Um, you could see here in the some of the demos that are shown. See right there, there's a tablet, and then also you can change different themes. But this is what I'm talking about, like a panel where it's easy. You don't have to be a hacker or a developer to put this together. It's a very DIY friendly um, integration. And so, as you can see here, here's my home. I set this up in like, I wanna say less than an hour. It wasn't long at all. Um, it actually, after I had set up my first panel, um, it took me probably only about 15 minutes to get the rest of the up. But there's some other things in here that are really cool that I'm using with like Trigger CMD. But for the most part, I wanted to show action tiles off today because um, they were really, really nice um, to actually give me a subscription to, um, you know, show off some of the cool features. Um, but honestly, I was using Smart Tiles before I even touched Action Tiles, and that was their previous integration, the like version one of this, which I absolutely loved it because it creates like a web page to where you can access it from anywhere. You can create create a like a, a little touchscreen tablet at home that's like your interface, you know, fancy, um, wh whether it's like a $40 tablet or, you know, it's a, a $100 tablet, it doesn't really matter. Um, among all the other different devices, you can do it from your phone. You can share your smart home integrations as well with like other people. There's a lot of really cool things you can do. And also this neat little feature to have your camera on here. I just love the whole layout and how you can set it up so quickly and easily. And so I just wanted to show that off because, I mean, ultimately, I've seen a lot of different videos out there that are really crazy when it comes to, like, if you're trying to look into some other kind of integration, like using Home Assistant, you have to use MyQTT, which is this crazy, like, broker um, to where you integrate your smart things to actually work with um, the Home Assistant. And so it's it's intense because you have to be like a developer mindset in a way because you'll notice in some of these videos it's insane you have to like put in all these different um, scripts and commands if you know the bash script at all or bash scripting or using your command line terminal yada 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 um, it's a lot and you can see here this video he goes through it like setting it all up to where you have to basically put together the whole um, setup as well as install my QTT and the smart things bridge as well as you have to set up the smart things app device handler it's intense just to get something like this whereas this action tiles um, integration you literally just buy a subscription and by the way the lifetime value license um, is $28.99 which is super cheap um, one time purchase per hub by the way keep that in mind if you have multiple hubs but <clears throat> once you log in, you actually can um, link your SmartThings integration, which I've logged in and played with this a bunch. But you can link it to where you can get access to you know the functionality and the integration immediately to actually set up this uh, dashboard. So I wanted to share this because SmartThings is really cool. You can use many different devices that aren't just SmartThings devices like um, Schlage. You see there's motion sensor. I've got Logitech Harmony in here as well. I've also got um, Belkin Wemo. I've got a few switches in here. Belkin Wemo, you can see right here, here's a switch. I've also got a bathroom uh, outlet and a heater switch using Belkin Wemo. And then you can also kind of hack together some things that don't normally work with smart things, like I have my Nest Protect here that I set up manually um, with my smart things uh, hub, which you can see here. Um, but ultimately it's really cool because I tried the other integration with home assistant and it just wasn't working for me I mean it was a lot of work I did actually get it to where it was integrated but it was a pain so anyways I wanted to uh, share this experience because literally it it just took from going to like you know your main panel 
and then let's say if you wanted to set up another um, like a new panel you just literally would have to go right here and then we're gonna call this I don't know uh, we'll call it video demo and just go add and then you're gonna go in there and then basically you click this guy here we're gonna call it video tile set and this is where you're gonna actually populate all your different tiles in here in this dashboard and then you have all these different options and this is how I added the nest cam you have to set it to public and then get the URL it's really simple because there's some great instructions with this tool um, but ultimately you can see here's all the different things and they're automatically integrated um, not to mention I have some other really cool things as well that I set up using trigger CMD if you didn't see my other video um, check it out because trigger CMD I have it to where literally it uh, wakes up and puts a computer to sleep using my Raspberry Pi um, and like I said very minimal um, type uh, development and programming work is needed for even even some of the more elaborate um, setups so I mean ultimately I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna click a few things and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit add and then also I've got my uh, camera already set up so I'm just gonna go to media and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in here and then it should show my outlet and um, a couple other um, switches that I have and then also my camera but you'll notice here that I have to actually click on my camera to see it which that's a feature that you actually have to um, edit in your uh, tile so you go into here and you go to tile settings and then you go down here and you can increase the size of that uh, camera and then once you go back here boom you've got your camera and it's in live mode right now it's just late so we're not going to see any cars going by but also there's um, some other really cool things like I said that you can do with this it's just really simple to set it up and get going with it so I wanted to share that and then also to share like how it works which ultimately it's just a it just creates like a website in a way um, that you have access to that you can share and you can do a lot of different things with it um, not to mention you can set up you know the different themes and colors and then you can basically get a tablet and make your own little panel uh, a little touch screen at home and so for somebody that wants something that's DIY simple and works really well with smart things I definitely recommend action tiles uh, as far as how cheap it is and it's a one-time license and all the other different little cool things you can do with it and so um, that's it I wanted to share action tiles today uh, show you how easy it was to set up I hope you liked the video and make sure to subscribe and watch more of my videos if you want to uh, see some more stuff on smart home